nice here. Forty-seven dollars for a fat man in a chair. Did you see that? Did you just see that? I just yeah. saw that. It's because the air conditioner kicked off. No. No, yes. it, no, it won. It was a ghost. It was. Uh, Did you well. feel it, right? Yeah. Huh. Okay, we just saw something really happen here. See, I felt the air conditioner suck the pressure down. No, the door was closed. The door was completely closed, and no, I was walking. You guys walk missed the point. What happens, what happens if you suck? He doesn't yeah. believe in ghosts. No, I just no. saw the ghost. What happens if you suck air out of a, a juice box? It suck air out of a juice box? It collapses, right? He's taking a video. Yeah. Okay. And I literally just saw, I just videoed the door. Right. Open and close by itself. Did, you show it to him? Did it open too? It opened and right. shot. Yeah, it opens when an air slightly. When kicks on, the pressure goes off, it opens, and then the pressure drops and it closes. No. Well, you can you can call it tutti frutti or pretty Show him the video. <laughs> well, I'm at, it's actually it's actually um my YouTube channel okay. is what I'm doing. So I'm a YouTuber and I like going around doing different antique stuff. Right, right. Uh, antique shops and all that. Just yeah, to, it's gonna be YouTube. We just experienced yeah. a freaking ghost opening closing the door. We just experienced it's right at the, the end. Turning on and off. But okay, it makes good YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the air conditioner. <laughs> 
AC. My dad turned off the AC. You have AC at your thermostat. No, I'm burning up in here. Your air conditioning's on right now. Yeah. That and okay, it was the wind, but I really think something just happened. So was a ghost. It's got, you want to hear the real story of a real quote ghost? Yes. Okay. So we have a ghost named Ruby. I'll prove it to you. Okay. Let, let me see. Hold on. This is Ruby right here. Ruby. Ruby. She was a little. She is our ghost. Okay. That actually lives here. Why we call her ghost? Well, in the in the years, this used to be that used to be the cottage, which is now the it used to be a courthouse. Now it's a cottage. Okay, someone's and, actually coming in now. <laughs> yeah. But Ruby is a ghost that uh -huh. lives here, uh -huh. and uh, there we have like, been a, we've been having a lot of experience with this ghost. Okay. Sometimes she'll open the door and close the door just like the way she did right now. Yep. Uh, she'll, if she feels negative energy, she'll have a painting flying and tapping the head. I mean, that Judy can tell you more about it inside the cottage. Oh, okay. Um, she, she was, this, she was this ghost that we actually, another thing about her that we found uh -huh. is, found she's a little artifact. Okay. That we have right here. Right. This is her eye. You see a poison, you see the makeup blush, her little yeah. teacup. This was all hers. Okay. Now the cottage used to be, when my parents bought this place in the year 2007, uh -huh. uh, in the year 2008, I brought a couple of my friends from college. Okay. And this was mostly a house, original house, where you had the kitchen, this was the living room, where you had the fireplace, then the entrance that is now closed, like the mid-century modern, uh -huh. that was the porch where you go outside. Yeah. And then you, so it was mostly like a house. This is actually a real house. Okay. Where you had the closet, the bed, the master's bedroom, the bed. So there was like a bedroom here, bedroom there, closet, bathroom. Then we all renovated this. Now we have 14 different dealers that actually put in the items. One of the dealers is Ed. He's the toy guy. Oh, yeah which is right here. Right. And I was seeing some of the toys which I fell in love with because some of these I remember playing with when I was a kid. Yes. When I was like six, five, four, five, and six years old. And this used to be what they called the Florida room or because of the sun. That's usually this is the where the lights are on. Right. Okay. Then, of course, this is the entrance. This is the kitchen, original floors, original floors. So once in a while, you will experience Ruby. Ruby oh. is present. Okay. He's a little ghost uh, that, you know, the scary part is, I would say like six years ago, we had a real big incident in this store. Oh. Where one time we had the market outside, which is basically the Nokomis Art Market, which is at the cottage, it's an art gallery, where you have tons of people outside and they would do, they'll sell their artists or sell their items mm -hmm. and we'll have music playing with spritz and wine and great time singing. I mean, it's, it's like a little festival outside, yeah. which we have every month. Well, because of COVID, we kind of shut that down. Shut it down, right. Right? Because to prevent the social people. Social distance, yeah. Well, because once people come in, there's no, so, so, no social distance because everybody gets together, everybody mm. talks, and yeah. Dubai, and, and sometimes we'll have like, uh, the mass of people outside uh, from the festival will be like 32 people. Oh, wow. Staging, putting oh, the yeah. items out. And they have a bunch of different artists that do their own cool stuff, really yeah. unusual stuff that you've never seen because every human is unique. Every human has their own style. Every person that decorates their own way of what life gives them, and they just use it as fun. So during that time, the door was closed, everything, everybody left. The camera was on. We always have a camera in this store uh -huh. to see what's going on. Right. To prevent thieves or someone yeah, stealing, someone's stealing so some, yeah. We have cameras all over the room. One of the cameras pointed out a flying squirrel. At first, we did not know it was a flying squirrel. It looked like a squirrel, an owl, 
flying and going through the fireplace. So my dad, who's the boss, said, well, right. probably, how, probably had an owl that came from the fireplace catching a squirrel. But it was, but we did not know because the way it flew, it touches the whole thing flying, then scattering through here. Then we had a lamp, which is the Dolly Orna lamp, which huh? was a Tiffany lamp. Okay. And it was worth 1200 It oh. was in one of the rooms. The squirrel probably knocked it, broke it, and suddenly you see an orb. You know, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no orb. Flying, going this way, coming from this wall. This is the wall that the orb came at night. It was 3 a.m. Oh, my. Going through the floor, on around. Chasing the poor squirrel, so it went oh. this way, going this way, then goes back to the other side, and suddenly next day the squirrel dies, oh. and the squirrel died here. That's where the squirrel died, right next to the umbrella right, right, stand. Okay. Trying to probably get out, yeah. because we gave him food, we gave him water. Nothing happened to the squirrel. We tried to find the squirrel. It came out a really bad mess. Another incident happened. In this room, my dad was talking to somebody, and it smelled like urine. Like someone peed. Yeah. Billy Bowers. Yeah. Right here. And the sense was coming towards where I sit. And where he sat, it was a sense. And it was standing there for like a minute. It disappeared. So wow. Vanished. No more urine sets. Hmm. So, I mean, okay. as you can see, Ruby is here. Yeah. She likes to play games. She likes to, you know, see her presence. Yeah. And what you just saw is probably Ruby that just opened the door and left. Or came to the store. Or, you know. Came into the store or left the store? One or the other. As okay. you are standing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she opened the door, or could have been she left the door. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, we probably won't see again, likely. But it was just a weird coincidence or weird thing that just happened. When yeah. That I, I'm so glad I got it on tape. I think I got it on tape. It was around the 20 three minute mark right on here so i'll have to go back and see if i got it on there when i go back to edit and everything but right um that was cool thanks for showing uh telling me those uh okay yeah thanks for telling me about the history no of course um, and this is an older house again in florida it was a slave port so if you go to Suffolk hills there's a bunch of houses that was me. I'm just screwing with you guys. <laughs> <sighs> you guys do know that the the wind pressure makes a difference. It's gonna be great YouTube video. So the... this is the toy guy, Ed. Okay. This is his items. He can tell you more about it. Yes, definitely. Hi. Hey, Ed. I'm a toy collector and a toy <laughs> dealer here. <laughs> but I think think you guys are causing trouble you're stirring stirring trouble up where there shouldn't be um but anyways the toys are kind of my scrubs i run antiquetoys.com and these are the these are the items that are like at the bottom of the boxes or the yeah. bottom of the collection yeah uh and i put them out here for a lot of the fixed income folks that have a have a smaller budget right yeah a lot of the gallery items though are on my site so what's the, so I was looking at this uh, tricky action locomotive here. Right, what right. is that? It's for sale. It's just a a plastic toy by Marx. Lewis Marx was the biggest company for the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Oh wow! And in the in that era, Marx M A R X ended up making items in the U S. And then he later made items in Japan because everybody started to learn exports are cheaper oh yeah companies make more money off of exports and that's the marks logo that's his logo okay it's a goofy little elf with a marks in the middle of his belly yeah <laughs> um but this you know it's just totally a humble toy this is at the time where they tried to get smaller and smaller and smaller toys 
Oh, yeah. So it's a battery-powered train. Right. And uh, with the packing insert. Oops. Yeah. So, you know, this might have cost, I'd say, 75 cents or so. I was about to say, it wouldn't cost that much. No. No, but as opposed to that, if somebody wanted to get, um, I don't know, let's say some of these pressed steel toys, they'd be double that. Well, yeah, the steel ones are more. Yeah. Because they, they price them more, and... It costs a lot less to ship plastic than steel, for sure. Yeah, you know? and that's the other reason. Is, and I really was eyeing this, also, this, uh... I'm, big, I'm a big train fanatic. Oh, okay. I love trains, any yeah. type. I mean, this wind... I didn't even the see Disney this wind-up. train's really killer. Which one? This is a Disney train. Oh, that is the Disney train. Yeah. See, this is, this is Marks or Linmar, and I'll check the markings. Oh. That's what that's saying. That is cool. Yeah, so this yeah, is Casey made in Jr. USA. It's Marks. Yeah, yeah. So it's when they experimented with plastic and wood. Okay. Which would be just post-war. But they still had a lot of production ready for tin. Oh, wow. Yeah, what happened to the wheels? Turn it around. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. What happened to the wheels? Did the wheels just... Um, they did not come with it? Or did it just break? You or? know, I don't think they put wheels on this one. Because on a flat surface, it cantilevers. See? See how it waggles? Yeah. They wanted it to waggle. Okay. So they, they have it roll around and waggle like a centipede. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Just That's cool. Kind of neat. Yeah, and it's got the but it's got the wind up toy it looks like. Yeah. The wind up Yep, the front's wind up. So it This is one of those items where you're like it should sell really quick. Oh wow. Yeah, so I'll pop it on the ground for fun. Oh, okay. See, I will. This is what you always run into. Yeah. With old toys, you're like, I want to help it. So see how it yeah. turned a little bit? <laughs> and so on a better surface, I think it can really take off. I'm going to say, I don't think it would take off on this tile, tile floor, but... Well, it yeah. did, but then it runs into something, so... Yeah. <laughs> This yeah. goes in a big circle, but I mean, it's, yeah, that's cool. And then I got the, and then the silver liner, the Zephner, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, train. That's a fun one, for sure. That, that look, I mean, it looks like it'd just be like one of those collector's items. It's like, it you is. wouldn't want to play. It's a shilling. It's made by shilling. Okay. And it's based off of Mark's toys. Okay. But it was made about 20 years later, so that people could afford it. Oh, yeah. So, um, that's what I always say. There are a lot of different price points. Yeah. I, um, yeah, because I, I mean, I don't know why, but, like, my, the antiques, mm -hmm. the, I don't know how I got into looking at stuff like that, but. There's a uh, lot of history to learn. That, and that, and that's, that's what I like is history. part of it, yeah. I like the history. Um, yeah. but, yeah, um. Well, Mike, here's a neat little tin train. Yeah, and there's the trolley. That reminds me of Main Street USA at Disney. Yeah. Trolley. Yeah. Cool. Have that, and then you have just little seat cars, and what are mm -hmm. these exactly? <laughs> the little train in the box here. Uh, that, again, you sort of get different price points. This is a more of a commemorative item of the scale logos. Oh, okay. Yeah, for five bucks, though. Not 45 four dollars oh, 50 cents. So oh, just point, a cheaper, okay. That's what cheaper I was price point, probably made in the 70s or 80s. Oh, wow. Um, but they're actually better detailed than some of the original Yeah, see, I like, uh -oh. cast iron. Yeah, see, I like those type of yeah. trains. It's got the wind-up as well. Right. Uh, you can probably wind that up and put it on Absolutely. Something. And this one's, I think, um, yes. what do I have it marked? Uh... Yeah, I oh, was thinking it might be Ives, frankly. Very yeah, early yeah, American Flyer. Yeah, okay. you have it 85. So this is an American Flyer cast iron. Oh, yeah. Which is really nice. I used to have an American Flyer uh, train set, Lionel, by Lionel. Yeah. And uh, Flyer and Lionel got together for a while. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember how long it's been since I've had that train. I got it for Christmas one year. Uh -huh. I think when I was like 12. <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> and so... Uh, or 10, 10 or 12, I forget how old I was, but I got, I had one of those, and, 
I mean, I, I ran that thing literally till it died. <laughs> a lot of people really like their toys. Yes. Especially they, their yeah. trains. Oh, yeah. Trains were big, though, back in the... Um, back in the 80s, anyway, yeah. when they first yeah, the came 80s, out. they were big because the, the guys that missed out when they were young children in the 20s and 30s, Yeah. they started to have this nostalgia. Yeah. Where they couldn't... They couldn't quench their nostalgia. They just had to, had to, had to have it. Like, what they couldn't afford as a kid, they circled back around. Yeah. When they sunsetted and retired. and So they wouldn't buy one. They'd buy, like, 100 trains. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah. so we get lots of them. In the, we had tons, tons of them in the 80s. Oh, yeah. That were being bought and sold for stupid prices. And now things are totally calmed down. So yeah. trains are a pretty good value at this point. I was about to say, they're probably up in price and tr about yeah. the trains and yeah. everything. But yeah, um, they have... I'm trying you to think... Them. Trying to think of uh, what... I was just like, oh, this is Beethoven. Oh. Yeah. And then I, I had... I think it's the ninth. Uh, any, oh, look at this. You I, don't break that about the door. <laughs> you're you guys the door. are goofballs. You're, you're looking at the door. I'm not looking. <laughs> what, what happens when you run air over an uh, airplane wing? Nothing. It's still... Yeah. What happens when an airplane sitting on the ground in a hurricane goes the air or a tornado or just a really big gust of wind goes over the... Airplane wing. What happens? Can you answer that? Um. It ties into the shape of an airplane wing. The tri. I mean, it, what? The triangle? I don't know. No, what it's the uh, airplane wing is shaped. It's like a. Here. Cross. All right. Here's your. See, I used to be a teacher, so. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. So what? What happens when? air flows over an airplane wing at a at speed is, is that path is that path quicker or is this path quicker no the bottom one because because it goes so, straight through the air circulates right go. so when you go this if this is like let's say 100 this is 100 right this uh -huh. is 100 miles per hour but this one has to go like 120 miles per hour to go over it real fast. And you create lift. The pressure goes low. So you lift. So your answer is you, the plane lifts because of the wing. The, the pressure above the wing is low. So it helps create lift. And so if you have a plane sitting in place and you run it through an air tunnel, it'll start to take off. Because that's the same as going down a runway really quickly, where your plane does what? It starts to take off, right? Because of the pressure. So you guys just had wind going over the roof of your building, which created a low pressure and sucked air in and did weird things with pressure. So your door opened up. The door was closed. When, shut. When the door had, was closed shut. No, it wasn't. I was looking at it. It was just barely, it was on the latch. So you had. Air going over your roof really fast. The pressure changed. It opened up, and then the air conditioning kicked on, and it sucks all the air out, and then it closed back up. Uh, you can call it Ruby. I don't care. The door was shut closed. The so, door was so shut because I shut it when I came in. A windy day, so when the wind is racing by your house, your cottage. It's changing the pressure, and then you have the air conditioning switch on and off, which changes the pressure. However, science. <laughs> yeah, history. Science. Yeah. Historic. Exactly. This house is historic. It's so, historic. Are you Catholic? I'm not. Are you Protestant? Yes. Okay. Uh, what would Protestantism say about the occult? It would say that it's uh, against God's will, and it's not godly, right? True. So, are you saying historically it's true, or are you saying, his, are you saying historically it's true, but that's against your religion, or are you saying historically it's false, which follows with your religion? 
I mean, historically, I mean, so it would she be... has this problem. Are you you believe in the occult? Yeah, you're Catholic. Yeah. So that means you have an absolute conflict with your belief system. Now, is that the case with you, too? I mean... Well, okay, do you believe in ancient aliens that came to the United States, came to the whole world? I do I believe not... believe it's quite possible, no. but I'm just trying to get a yes-no answer out of him. No for the aliens. No for... I mean, I'm, I'm not saying... about the occult. Do you believe in the occult? In the occult? Which would be Ruby and Spooks. I was Ruby! I don't, I mean, I'm not saying I don't believe, like, it was. Right. But it's always just to kind of have fun to think, okay. oh, maybe it's... So you're talking it up to fun. That's cool. It's more fun than I'm thinking, oh, my word, we actually have a ghost in this house. We actually did have a ghost, and we still do have a ghost in this house. Do me a favor. Talk to the cottage people. Okay. See if Judy's here. <laughs> Where's this case in Alice? Where are they the at? Where are they at? In that little white co like door, Ruby's door. Ruby's door, okay. Yeah. Uh, talk to Heidi. She can tell you more about Ruby. Tell her about the history of Ruby, and she can tell you everything. First thing to know you, if you come by tomorrow, talk to Judy Light, and she can tell you the whole history oh, of Ruby. Oh, jeez, okay. And she can really tell you the real story of Ruby. Versus this guy. I'm not talking about Ruby. I'm talking about Yeti Pressure, alright? <laughs> he was talking about toys. <laughs> he was talking about the toys, which I was interested in. Yeah. Uh, where is, where is she? she right just, there. She's in the art cottage. Just walk in that door. Oh, okay. It's just, alrighty. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Hello. We really don't like you to take pictures. Oh, okay. 